Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to take your Kindle book and upload it to Amazon Kindle, okay, or the Amazon KDP. So I'm not going to go through creating the book. I've already done that in previous videos. So right now I have one of my trivia books already in the um, in the Ultimate Ebook Creator and um, just a couple of things to note here the book title okay and the description now for Amazon we need to make sure that the um, the description is less than 400 characters and that is because if it's more than 400 during the upload the actual the uh, conversion of the book will actually fail and Amazon really doesn't tell you why it'll just say that you have an error in your book and it took me literally a couple of weeks to talk to Amazon and basically they did some um, some diagnosis on my file and then they they emailed me back and told me that um, basically my book description was over 400 characters so try to keep it under 400 characters for Amazon okay so here we have our book and it's already uh, we've already you know created the whole book so we've got the title page the cover page the table of contents so everything is good now all we need to do is basically upload it so here we have two options we can either generate the Kindle book in Mobi format okay or EPUB format it's totally up to you okay either format will work and um, and you can basically you know cho choose either option okay so today what we've done is we've already generated the Mobi format file and then we're going to be uploading the Mobi format okay so what we need to do is basically go to Amazon so here in my browser I'm just going to type in Amazon KDP for Kindle Direct Publishing and what will happen is the first link that shows up and over here you'll see that it's called kdp.amazon.ca now because I'm in in Canada it shows up as .ca but when we go there we'll actually see that it takes you right to amazon.com and then it's gonna ask you to sign in okay so I've already gone ahead and signed into my Amazon account and as you can see I don't have anything for for the demonstration purpose I do have an, another account with books in it but this one I just created so I can just you know concentrate on the upload and you don't see all my my titles because I don't want you to see my titles um, not all of them anyway so what we need to do is basically we need to add a new title okay and what I suggest is that you keep the ultimate ebook creator open because we do need the information from there so we're gonna go ahead and add a new title okay and we're gonna scroll down and here the first thing is it's asking us to enroll in the KDB select and I definitely recommend that you do that and just read the uh, read the terms and conditions but basically what you're saying is that you're giving Amazon 90 day exclusive rights to the book right and what this means is that you can't go ahead and once you've checked this um, you cannot go ahead and publish your book on any other platform for at least 90 days and the cool thing about this is that you will actually earn extra revenue because they make this book available for their uh, uh, KDP members and um, it's a really good thing to do so I always do this for any of my new books uh, you get more exposure and so the first thing we need to do is go to our book and take the title of the book so I'm just gonna basically copy this and then I'm gonna paste it into here for the book name now this is really not a part of a series so I I don't need to fill out any of this information for the publisher I'm gonna put in the publishers information so this is my son Kishan and actually this is his book so I'm gonna put this in here now you don't need to it says it's optional so you don't need to do that um, but I'm going to put in his name. 
Now for the description, I'm just going to go back to my description over here, copy, or you can always say right click and copy, and then here you can say right click and paste. Okay. Now although it tells you here that you can have up to 3700 characters left, like I said before, keep it under 400 characters because it will cause an error. For the distributor, I'm going to type in Kishan Mystery again. Okay, and I'm going to select Author. And I'm going to click Save. And the reason for that is that the meta information here is the same name here. So we need to make sure we match this name. Okay. Um, publication date is optional. If you don't fill that in, it will actually take the date from the meta information here. But you can, you can type it in if you want, or you can click this button and choose the current date if you want to do that like I said it's optional so you don't have to ISBN is optional we don't have an ISBN we're gonna leave this blank the next one thing is verify your publishing rights so we need to select the second option which is this is not a public domain work and I hold the publishing rights okay okay next one is the target your book to customers so we need to add categories so we'll click on categories and we'll go down to sports and recreation and down here we have baseball okay because this is this is if you see this this is an MLB so it's a baseball book so we're gonna click baseball and we're gonna select general and statistics because this is a trivia book and I think those are the best matches that I I can see here okay once it's done we'll click save and for the keywords we have some keywords here so we're gonna take these keywords and we're gonna just basically put them in there and um, and it actually tells you 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 can Put up to seven keywords I believe so trivia and last one is quiz okay so we have the keywords now what I normally do is be, I already have the cover page as part of my meta information here and it is part of the Mobi file but I always upload that as well just to be on the safe side so I always browse and here's my image now remember it tells you that it must be at least a thousand pixels on the longest side with a ratio of 1.6 right so make sure that your I usually make sure that my images are at least this size okay so once you've browsed you we can basically click on upload image and there is a little problem with this actually it's it's not going to show up here it, this dialog should actually go away but for some reason it's not going away so I'm going to click out and don't worry this this image is actually there but it does it just doesn't show up okay and um, the next thing is to upload your book okay so we'll choose the um, do not enable digital rights management now this option is really important because um, if you choose this then it will be uh, really difficult for you to um, you know read your book on other devices and things so I would say do not enable digital rights management this is the best option to have the widest um, distribution of your books and then we're gonna browse for the book okay so we'll browse for the book and over here I have my Mobi file as you can see here I have my MLB Mobi file and I'm going to click open but like I said before you can also choose the EPUB file okay so it depends on what you've generated I'll go with the Mobi file I'll click open and then I'll click on the upload book okay now this takes a few seconds to do so just be patient okay so so it's uploaded upload and conversion successful great and we can now preview our book so we can click on this to preview 
but I'll le leave that as an exercise for you guys to do. Now what I want to show you is I want to click save and continue. Okay, now let's just go back. So let's go down to the bottom and let's just go back and um, click on here. And then we'll just go down again and see. I just wanted to show you that, yeah, that image did get uploaded for the book cover and um, just didn't show up in the first instance. Okay, so let's go save and continue once again. And um, we want to distribute our book worldwide okay so we'll keep that option checked and right now here what we need to do is we need to choose whether we want to go with the 35 percent royalty or the 70 percent royalty um, well, I'm gonna choose the 70 percent royalty and the only agreement here or the condition here is that you uh, set your price at 299 to to 9.99 so I'm gonna set this to 2.99 okay now when you tab out we need to set all the other ones up so I'm just gonna click check 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 and last check okay so all these different um, places are being set up where Amazon sells the books and um, we can then basically do the last step which is click on this option here to agree with the terms and conditions and then we can click save okay and then once you save um, you're back in your bookshelf and here's the book and it's going to be in um, uh, it's going to be in a particular mode here okay right now it's just showing that it's in draft mode but um, really that was just because I haven't set up my account properly this is a this is a new account I haven't really set it up properly but um, this will say something like you know under review or something like that okay and once it's been approved right then this will say it's gone live so it'll say the word live and um, and that's it and that's how you um, basically upload your book now if you want to make changes it's really easy you just basically click on here again okay so even after the book has gone live you can click click on that uh, title and basically go through this whole process and upload your book again right and the only thing you need to remember is that every time you do this um, Amazon is going to review your book again so it goes through the cycle this cycle normally takes about 24 hours they say it will take about 24 to 48 but honestly um, in reality um, it usually doesn't take that long maybe like eight hours or sometimes even less okay so what I normally do is I normally update this uh, upload my book overnight and in the morning when I log in um, everything is fine and um, the status is live and you're good to go so that's how you upload a book into Amazon using the ultimate ebook creator to create your Mobi or the ePub file and you just upload it and as you saw it's dead simple to do and um, I hope you found this video useful